Alright guys, here I am playing uh, Cabela's Big, Big Game Hunter 2004 Season. Now this seems like a really old game, but the reason I'm showing this is because there's some fun in this game that I really enjoyed. So we're going to talk about that. Um, I did try to videotape the intro, but for some reason since any time I push a button, it just goes to the next scene and fraps won't continue to record. I think the reason being is there's programming code in this game that stops that from happening. Um, we're going to talk about the good and the bad and first start off with the uh, good and or actually let's start off with the bad because <laughs> that way we'll understand but uh, this game feels like a simulation to me and I say that because there's so many things in here that doesn't make it feel like a game. Um, it feels like we're just trying to be a hunter and simulate that and not actually have the, the fun of just being a hunter. Um, in a video game you can't do exactly the same things as being a hunter so you can't be out there 24-7 looking for a bear or whatever you're looking for. And in this game they kind of try to go towards that. It reminds me of like a fish tycoon. They try to make it to a video game, but the fish actually grow lifelike. So you have to wait days, months to actually uh, play the game, which is ridiculous. And so part of that in this game makes it ridiculous, and it doesn't become very much fun when when you have to go out and and hunt, but then you can't shoot at night. You have you can't shoot past six o'clock, which is kind of ridiculous. So you're waiting around, you're supposed to pitch a tent. Um, so here I am getting set up. I'm gonna take a few weapons. The come on, I don't hear anything. Oh, it's just not very loud. I will uh, up the audio though. So, and towards the end, I up the audio so you can hear what's going on because it does seem a little low in this game. A lot of this stuff is locked, but the multiplayer in this is just great. Um, but let's get back to the things I still don't like. I don't like getting lost, so I have to take a GPS with me. Um, the walking around in this game kind of sucks. It's really slow. When you run, you actually use up your... Uh, here, I'm going to put a bear. You can only hunt one bear. See, this is tag one right there. And i got to get my CD out and put it in very frustrating because I paid for all these games and I have to have the CD so I have to search for it out of my game book and put it in there so it gets to be very frustrating I kinda wish that the newer games now when you buy the dang thing it just registers in an online server and I think that all the new games should do that and not require you to put the CD in and when I said it hurts us bad I hate looking for the CD and then if the CD scratched it doesn't work anymore and I get pretty mad who wouldn't? I mean, you pay for the game and then you can't play it. And the one thing that really made me mad is when I bought Chaos Theory. Um, the is Splinter Cell's Chaos Theory. When I first bought it and installed it, it kept crashing. Reason being, the disc just did not work for some reason. So I waited till it came. I just didn't play it. I couldn't return it. So I waited till it came down in price and went and bought it when it was dirt cheap. It was like five, ten bucks somewhere. I can't remember. And then I tried installing it again with a different disk and it worked. But then the stupid, they put that protection on there. So it's a check for the CD. It wasn't working properly and I had to go find a patch and it was just ridiculous. So here's me getting started. Graphics are not too bad. So pretty much the other thing that sucks is see those red dots out there? If you're not playing this on easy, you don't get those red dots. And those red dots are telling you where those animals are. So you have to play this a lot to know where they're going to be at in a region. Um, that really doesn't doesn't help very much. Because uh, this game seems very hard. And what I mean by that is I'm going over a hill and they just take off. Even if I don't go in a brush, I try to be as quiet as possible. Try to come up real slowly. They just take off. So it gets to be pain in the ass, and then once you get to those red dots, you don't even know what they are. So 
I could be going for a ram instead of a bear and we're trying to hunt a bear here also I didn't pack correctly because I haven't played this game in such a long time so you can see I kinda move slow and if I keep running I actually get exhausted that's what I was trying to come up with earlier when the bad thing about moving this game when you're running a lot it's not even a lot excuse me it's just it's just enough and what I mean by enough you can be running for like 30 seconds you're taking all your energy out of you and you have to eat food or drinks instantly which is just too much it's too ridiculous this this is coming too much to be a simulation instead of fun game so here I'm driving the ATV and it's a little difficult to drive sometimes it just takes off um, you'll notice when I try to go up hills and mountainsides that it just won't go up even though it looks like it can sometimes we can get up there um, and once you do that it, that's very helpful but the crashing this game really just sucks when you're falling off a mountainside you actually just spawn from your unit and the vehicle just rolls over the opposite way or wherever it's supposed to go so you just spawn it standing and then it shows you how much damage you've taken and it takes away a substantial amount. I think I'm going to actually do that in this video to show you. So I was driving around. I mean, ATV, it's pretty cool. Here I'm wondering, see like you just come out like that. They could have at least put some animation, you know, to come out and into the vehicle. That would have been a little bit more interesting. Also, you cannot hunt animals you're not supposed to be hunting. So again, this just is, it just feels more like an emulation towards hunting more than a game. Now that I've pretty much talked about the bad things, um, I don't think there is any other bad things that I can talk about. Let's go ahead and talk about the good things. Oh, the aiming kind of sucks a little bit too right there, you can see. I had a shotgun and a sniper rifle. And when I go to the sniper rifle zoom, it just zooms out. Shotgun, I think it shows the the scope, or excuse me, the sight. Aiming down the sight. I can't remember because I don't think I show it in this video. But um, let's get to the good things. Obviously, the graphics are a little bit okay. They're really good at the time when this game came out. I can't remember exactly. Sometimes they say 2004, you know, it came out in 2003 or beginning of 2004. It really just depends. Um, but the fun part being driving around is cool. There's other vehicles like trucks. Um, there's boats. It's like a small boat. Um, what else is there? I'm trying to think of some other stuff you drive. Oh, the snowmobiles. Driving in the snow is pretty sweet. Um, so the driving in this game, even though it's kind of mediocre sometimes, it still can be somewhat fun. You're looking around for uh, things you're going to be hunting. But walking around and running around is just absolutely ridic ridiculous. You shouldn't be doing it without a vehicle. Um, you can see as quickly as I run, I start running out of energy real quick. So it's exactly not what I remember, 30 seconds. It depends on your, your uh, person, though. Since I'm an older male, I think I have more um, resistance to that, getting tired. I'm not sure, I can't remember, but I, I remember this game particularly being about 30 seconds you run and then you're just out of energy. And you can kind of see I just walk and the way it just shows some of the animation of how it moves and so forth. You can see, so I have no idea what that is out there and I have to go out there and search for it. So I could spend all this time looking and I might not find what I'm looking for. But uh, the other great things about this game, it has multiplayer. And that's one thing I wanted to talk about. The newer hunting games like this, I do not see multiplayer that just online. I like to have fun like this does. It's competitive. You have to go out and find the animal and kill him, get a trophy, get a score. Um, you can actually shoot each other. And you do get fined or you do die yourself, something like that, I can't remember. Uh, but it, the gameplay can be frustrating sometimes. Sometimes it can be fun just messing around. I remember a friend, a friend of uh, myself, he was hanging out on the mountainside shooting at me while I was driving my ATV and actually hit me in the head. And so it, we had some pretty good times playing this game. You could hunt wolves, I think it was. It would be like four of us going out and playing this game. It's just 
really fun in that part. But um, I don't understand why there isn't another game like this. It needs to, just you see those dangerous. I can't remember what that dangerous game was called when I was looking at GameStop, but uh, some dangerous hunting game by Cabela again. And it just needed to be more like this. Like it felt you're working together, going out there to hunt. It could be dangerous, could get you. See, I don't think that's a bear, but I'm going to check anyways. Looks like a ram. Because it's moving so fast, you know, it could be a gazelle, deer, who knows. So I really haven't played much of this game to know where the bear is going to spawn, where's this or that. Just because it doesn't appeal to me as a game. It feels more like a simulation. So I'm not having all that fun all the time. I'm just, you know, it's about a 50-50. Have fun, not have fun. Get frustrated. And that's one thing different between this game and like when I'm playing Quake 2. I really just don't get frustrated. But this game would frustrate me just because it seemed like they could have done a little bit better job. When I'm playing Populous, I never get frustrated the same way I do with playing this game. Now I'm picking out uh, the weapons, um, what you wear, tents, you can even do predator calls, um, or is it prey calls, I think it's prey calls. So you get to pick out your equipment, that's pretty cool, there's some archery stuff right here, you can see I just can't go up right there for some reason, so I'll go around. Um, but overall, I would still play the game with some friends, it's still worth doing something throughout the day, I mean, you can't play you can't play Black Ops all day, right? It just starts to get boring after so many times. Besides that, I don't get all that time to play video games anymore. So I'm just looking on my GPS. If you don't have a GPS and you just have a map, well, it kind of sucks. See, so I just write not here. He's obviously not here. So now I gotta go out there and I gotta go get my vehicle. I know it's a little hard to see, but the bottom left, um, you see the green, which is like an outline of a human. That's supposed to be me. Well, inside there is like some brown um, lining, and it's about a little bit past my head, if you can see that. That means that I've lost some of my energy. I need to eat some food or some drinks. When I get injured, the outline will not be green of my body. It will be like a yellowish red. It will kind of show you where you're injured and how much. I think we're going to try to go over some stuff over here. I have difficulty driving on this part. That's what I remember. But yeah, I would really like this game like to just a lot more animals. Don't make me go so far sometimes. And, and it looks so difficult. I hate looking very difficult to find something. Um, it would be interesting, you know, just driving on my ATV and I'm supposed to be hunting bears and all of a sudden a bear comes out of nowhere attacking me. That would be freaking blowing me away. I mean, that's the kind of gameplay I'm looking for when I want to be playing a hunting game. We don't need to be so much of a simulation. See, I'm just having difficulty driving. I'm trying to turn. It's, I guess it's the grass that's causing this. And, like, sometimes I hit something without even hitting into something. It just... It's invisible. You can see I have a difficulty trying to get back to, to move. I decided, okay, I'm going to have to look at my map because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not good with directions. <laughs> so I don't know the map. I don't know where I'm going. But yeah, they should have put more of a collision. Driving around, you hitting something. It, see, like, is there a rock there I was hitting? look like a rock maybe but then you see me again go up and I don't hit anything and I hit see I didn't hit anything then I obviously have to go down um, more of a collision base would have been good too but if we look past those things this game can have that fun in there and that's what I'm looking through in all these videos is talking about the fun parts a little bit of the good and bad and sometimes I'll replay the game just to show in another video I mean, we've got to understand what makes a great game, not just not just the uh, bad things, because then you just focus on what's bad and you don't know what's good. And so I'm not talk about anything and everything and show a lot of varied games that I've played. Just trying to find that. Because, I mean, that's what is going to make a good game designer, right? got to know those things. 
the same time you gotta know a little bit about programming and so forth. But the gameplay looks pretty smooth right here, so I mean they did an A on that. Yeah, when you're playing with your friends online and you're playing competitively, uh, it's pretty cool. I wish I don't think you can do teams. I wish you could. I think we do teams anyway sometimes, just for the heck of it. We'll, I'll say someone's on my team and so forth. Um, and we'll go driving out and we'll crash into each other, but it doesn't show like real crashing, which kind of upsets me. And a lot of these racing games, they don't have real crashing. They like totally, you're just supposed to race, and it doesn't feel realistic when you do that. I really want to have the fun of crashing somebody off the side of the, uh, you know, off the road while I'm going to look for my bear or something. Come on. That was a little, see, that was a little fun right there, falling like that, trying to catch my balance on the, or get my vehicle to catch balance. And you, if you inhabit water in this game, it does kill you. You can drown, and it's a lot faster of making you tired. So I really just kind of avoid it. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> I'm talking to myself, of course. I'm thinking, well, oh, what the freak am I going to do here? But yeah, I play this game on my laptop with all the. We network together from my laptop to other laptops to other computers because it doesn't take a lot of uh, processing power since it's an older game. I usually like games that don't have so much sh shuddering. They have a lot less processing power. They're more smooth. They have that. They just give a little bit of a fluid gameplay. Now, a lot of these games, the only ones that I really see that you can shoot out of the cars when you're driving is pretty much like Grand Theft Auto. Um, or a style like that and a game like this it'd be kind of cool to drive up and you know pull out your shotgun while you're on your you're on your ATV and just take a shot if you had to so that just little things like that could have been pretty cool definitely a better way to see where the animals are or hear them and a lot more of them I mean if it would be a lot easier because I'm trying to remember where to go and there was no booklet for this game when I bought it. I don't think there ever was a booklet for it. So I'm supposed to know where the the bears are located and I don't remember or maybe they aren't located in this place I'm supposed to be at. So like a pamphlet that tells you on screen that says, hey, you're supposed to go to Creek such and such. And you see a lot of red dots over there. Well, then you know there would be at least one bear over there. See, it's just a ram. Headshot. Fire your weapon after 6 p.m. I must warn you, you don't have a tag for this trophy. You have been fined $200. See, isn't that ridiculous? So I can't shoot after 6 p.m. and at the same time I'm fined $200 because I shot the wrong animal. But I was shooting the animal just because I wanted to. I was so frustrated coming out here and there was no bear. So... I'm going to place a new marker. Can't spell luck, it won't let me. So shit out of luck. Yeah. <laughs> Very frustrated at this point. So I feel like I'm flying down the hill. Kind of am. You can see I don't have any blue energy left right there. So I have to get back on a vehicle and let it go up. If I keep moving, it will not go to go up. So that gets to be very frustrating too. I'm just noticing there's these red lines that connect all the markers that I left. Not sure exactly why that is, because it doesn't show like place one, place two, place three, it just shows them all connected.
Yeah, if, I was, if they're going to remake something like this, it's pretty similar. Let's see, I'm trying to go up this hill. Just, you know, I'll be quiet for a second when I crash. See, look at that. Uh, okay. I would like some crashing animation. And then but look at the bottom left how I'm injured. So my, I guess it's my left arm is not injured, but everything else is. And you can see I lost like half my life, or my energy, excuse me. So I only have like pants wise, it's brown. But um, talking about what would have been really cool in this game also is if you start out in the hunting lodge and the interface is you see a lot of different guns, you can turn around, look around, and there's all your buddies, and there's a lobby, and you can pick the weapons. That would be very interesting, very fun. Um, oh, I'm going to take this shotgun looking at it, and the other guy's like, well, don't take that. You know, because you can hang out in the lobby before you before the game starts. It says starts in like two minutes or something. So everybody just joins the lobby. Or they can ready up or something similar. Uh, since it's such nighttime, I can't really hunt anything. So it gets very frustrating. I'm thinking like, ah. Oh. And one thing I noticed is I didn't pack enough food or water by accident. I thought I did, but somehow I'd pass that. And we do have a compass, but I don't really use that. Um, reason being, I'm not a scout. <laughs> Maybe they expect me to be more like a scout, and if I'm a hunter, I'll play this game. But let me tell you something. If you're making a video game, you're trying to get video gamers, not hunters. Because hunters have a more fun time going out and hunting. Why would they want to play a simulation if they're going to go out and hunt? I mean, they'd have to be under circumstances they can't go out and hunt. And they can't do anything else. And if you're marketing like that, you're not going to get very many people buying this game. So you might as well try to make it more fun. And it's supposed to be more like a video game, not really a simulation. You know, I'm going to be saying the word simulation quite often for all these games. See, now I'm getting very frustrated because I don't have very much uh, energy left, and I'm injured. So I'm just looking at my GPS, and I'm thinking, oh, shoot, one of these things got to be a bear out there, right? Also, in the newer games, like where those red dots are, it would tell you distance from where you are to get to them, which would have been probably important in this game and I don't think they've ever had a game like out like that at the time but I mean someone should have thought of that and went well you know it would have been a little bit nicer if there was a distance so you know okay it's on the other side of the hill or it's all the way across the mountain and you have to get your vehicle and see now I'm just praying that there's a bear down there or over on my left because I can't go very far or else I'm gonna drop dead and so, um, but what surprises me is if you're going to die in this game, it sometimes it looks like you have energy and you're not going to die, and then you just drop dead, which is kind of strange. And it doesn't give you the animation for dropping dead, sorry. I, I meant it more like you're just out of the game. So I'm going over the hilltop, and I see another red dot down there, so I'm just wondering, is that close by? Can I hunt that? See, and I realized, oh no, I don't have anything. So I'm pretty much out of luck right here. Possibly going to die. So I'm just going really slow. It's like, where's the bear? There is a bear, right? I like to hunt the... the uh, <laughs> what is it called the predators because they can attack you back and that's more fun in my opinion instead of the rams and gazelles and everything it's like please don't make me move from this location much more much more
like a bunch of suspense. Is it a bear? Is it a bear? Is it a bear? Could be a tiger, right? Little mouse? Nah, it's none of those. What is it? So, do you guys think this is going to be a bear? Nope, it's a ram or something similar. Now, now it means I got to go over there. <coughs> Question is, what's over there? And I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to make it over this hill and I will definitely catch myself a bear. That's what I'm thinking, right? It's not going to come up after me. And then that happens. You've been rescued by the warden after he found you lying con con er, uh, <clears throat> unconscious. Yeah, I just I just realized I had passed out, but I didn't even feel the effects of passing out. Like they should show on screen. Ah, uh, you're kind of passing out or something. So that was very frustrating. I was like, oh, what the freak, you know? <laughs> what the freak? <laughs> So I'm thinking, okay, I'm just going to go back to that area. I have a better chance of finding a bear in that area. And it's not showing an arrow which way I'm going, so I'm getting lost. I'm like, uh, I can't tell. And then I see this red dot on the right that looks a lot brighter. And I'm thinking to myself, that must be the bear then. Because it's a lot brighter. So I'm going to go check out real quick and see why it's brighter. Because I don't understand. Does that mean it's close by? And so I go to zoom. And I'm totally surprised. It's two dots. That's the only thing. So just the brightness is brighter because there's two of them put together. So I'm a little upset about that. I'm like, ah. I could be recording video game footage forever trying to find this bear. Yeah, so imagine playing this hunting game. A bunch of people on ATVs trying to find uh, things to hunt and just driving them off the road into the river or something that'd be pretty hilarious um, I don't think they should be able to kill each other without having some kind of fine or something um, just because it'd be kind of unfair it'd be funny but it need to be a little bit unfair so if someone had shot someone else um, maybe they'd be out of game or maybe they just have the ability for the host to say no I don't want that to happen so now I'm looking at this sign and I'm thinking, well, does that mean rams are at Pine Pass up here? So I'm just hoping, no, I hope not. So we're going around. So now that I'm at this other lodge, I'm going to drop off my vehicle so I don't lose it. And I'm going to go over here and see if there's some animals I can hunt. That's the bear, hopefully. Now, you imagine trying to hunt these things with like a bow and arrow. And they start taking off running. Yeah, that would be very difficult. This game's already difficult enough. It's another ram. Well, let's see what the other thing is. I kind of wish there wasn't so many trees. It makes it difficult to see far away. 
what it is out there. Like, they should give you binoculars and shotgun or something, and then you have to go chase it down And sometimes. That would be pretty fun. Um, but oh, so many trees, you can't tell what is out there sometimes. you got to run around, run through all these rocks and stuff, bushes, trying to make as much sound as I can. Because regardless if I make sound or not and I go up there, they're going to start running. It's not like I can creep up on them. I try to, but and you can see how I'm now I'm getting tired already. The blue is going away, so it's going to start taking my energy. I guess that's like a temporary thing. I'm not sure what we call it. But once the blue's gone, um, I need to stop, or it's going to start taking all my energy. And you see the the brown going away from my head again on the bottom left. See how the head doesn't have any color in it. And they're both rams. I thought I saw a bear, but nope. There is one other good thing about this game is that when you do get close to what you're hunting, you can usually hear it. Um, so once I get close to the bear, I'll be hearing the growl, the roar, excuse me doesn't growl does it <laughs> kinda wish it would be chasing down something that <sighs> excuse me I had to yawn for a second but I uh, kinda wish I was chasing down something that had to uh, attack me chase after me that would be crazy like you go to hunt a pack of wolves and you're with your buddies in a Hummer and then uh... <laughs> or a truck or something sports vehicle Jeep, something like that. You're going out to hunt, and then all of a sudden these these uh, wolves or tigers or something kill somebody in your team, and get in the car, get in the car. Would you get out of here? <laughs> what is that? It looks like a ram. So I'm just gonna go walk over here then. I figure this is so frustrating to go back and find the, the car and then what's that down there is the third dot so I'm just gonna walk it walk and run it now that these things take off I really think they're just not bears But the having driving the vehicles in this game could be a little bit fun. So I think I'll have to do another video just driving the truck, the uh, snowmobile, and the boat. Little boat that's down there. And there's the ram. So up there could be a bear. Let's go find out. It's going to go over there flying down this hill. It looks like bear's going to be kind of where I was guessing it was going to be. And I looked at the map. But I think I'd take off to the right. I can't remember if I go up this huge mountainside. Probably find again no bear. Oh, that's moving kind of fast. Uh, it's a ram. I shoot it in the ass, anyways. Butt shot. You may not kill a trophy you don't have a tag for. This is a warning. If it was a buck, you could say buck shot <laughs> instead of butt shot. <laughs> so 
so I get a warning this time because it's not after 6 a 6 p.m. I guess so we're off to find the trio hopefully they're all bears but I think in this game there's only one bear because you only have one tag I could be wrong maybe you're supposed to take your time and when you get out there see which bear is bigger I have no idea because I don't play this game enough and I look and I'm like ah oh, freak are you kidding me <laughs> it's over the mountainside well might as well head that way and since there's only one vehicle because I was the only one that spawned there's no way for me to get another vehicle but when you're playing multiplayer there's multiple vehicles for each player I think so if you're playing three players there's three vehicles and you can steal someone else's vehicle I'll be camped out at night waiting till the after 6 p.m. in the morning when you can go hunting again I don't know what time it is when you can go hunting again but um, I'll be waiting in the vehicle next to my tent while I'm sleeping and my cousin will come over and steal the vehicle and drive off and be like oh f freak yeah I like to cuss a lot so I just say the other way could try to swim across but I could get stuck in the water where I can't get out so I'm just gonna walk it we're getting close to the end of the vehicle uh, video excuse me pretty soon and there is Murray Ridge so do you think I'm gonna get a bear not gonna get a bear what do you think gonna be more shit out of luck probably huh Mm, that didn't give very much energy. Oh well. Kind of like if if I can't find it now, oh well. I'm trying to go up this hillside so I can see what is over there instead of having to go over there. And I just can't. I'm betting you if I had an ATV right there, I could make it over. But I didn't bring my vehicle. Well, this is frustrating. I'm gonna take out my map and I'm gonna be quiet so we'll see if we can hear anything. Was that sound like a bear to me <laughs> yep I do encounter a bear grizzly bear I think it's a grizzly bear awesome so yeah I did turn the volume up on this part just so you could hear that Where is he? Aw, oh, sweet. Gonna aim for the head. You may not fire your weapon before 8 a.m. You get a $200 fine. Well, there you know what time you can't fire it in the morning. But there's the trophy, tells you what your score is based on the head, based on where you shot, I think, um, yards, range. But that's it for this game. Uh, if you like me talking about all these games, like and subscribe, and go ahead and get on to the next video. I'll catch you guys later.